Steve Sadeberry, he knows Ditch's agent. Sadeberry, yeah, he's, he's Ditch's lady Ward, who he's been with as a solo agent now for, yes, for just yeah. over a year, but but has known for quite a while. Uh, Eddie Ward used to work for Rob Segal, who was uh, Barry Hino's long-standing agent. Um, when he broke away, Barry Hino went with him. Eddie Ward obviously hit the headlines because of the Raheem Sterling side at Liverpool and Albion were uh, a little bit concerned, I think, behind the scenes that, that the Barry Hino situation with his new contract talks could, could go the same way as Sterling. So I think privately Albion w will be fairly happy that Barry Hino has, has taken th this decision. Obviously, it depends who he chooses to go with now. Uh, he, he's yet to decide on a new agent, but he's got several options, we're, t we're told. And uh, when that's decided, uh, Albion will be hoping to resume contract talks and make some progress. And some news about the training camp. I know that, that West Brom and, and Tony Pulis have come under a bit of stick recently. Yeah, uh, Raymond Verheyen, um, the ex-Wales um, assist assistant manager, fitness coach, um, the Dutchman, has, has had a bit of a pop at Albion's training methods. We've read a lot and heard a lot about the the regime in Austria when they've they been up early in the morning riding bikes and running up, up, up hills. Um, Verheyen is basically making the point that uh, for football fitness you need to do football work and I, I, think, I think to us laymen looking at, look at, look at the outside that, that might make some sense. All I would say is Tony Pulis can, can just point to his results uh, over his career. His Stoke teams were obviously famed for their, for their fitness as were his Crystal Palace teams and pretty much every other team that, that he's managed so clearly he knows what he's doing.